Scenic drives down tree-lined streets. Making memories at new places to explore. That's what RV travel is all about. Hi, I'm Steve from Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2022 Hurricane. So we're starting in the 29M. What you see here is the Silver Strand Decor and Carolina Cherry Woodwork. One feature people love about the 29M is this. It is the only hurricane floor plan with a campside dinette. So imagine yourself here. It's dinner for two, you're looking out at scenery most people only see on postcards. On the other side of the aisle, we have theater seating. The footrests are up and you're relaxed and enjoying life. The kitchen in the 29M is equipped with the gear you need from big meals to that morning cup of joe. Across the lineup, you have a double bowl stainless steel sink with a cover for each side, three burner gas cooktop with oven, a microwave, and a double door fridge. You are going to love the look and storage you get in the cabinets above and below. You have a great bath set up in the 29M. It's got the room and storage you need. I mean, look around, there's a place for everything. You have storage below the counter for towels, and over here, a shower with glass door and skylight. Into the bedroom we go, where you have a king-size bed in the 29M, and check out the size of those nightstands. You have a 12-volt outlet and USB charging as well. You have even more charging options over here on the dresser top. You have room for all your clothes in the closets and drawers, plus there's a TV so you can catch up on the highlights before you doze off for the night. So here's one more look at the 29M, and it's off to the 31C. Now you're seeing this in the luxury collection. This is the charcoal diamond decor, and coastline gray cabinets. And you can get this on any floor plan. So this is a great layout with some very cool features. Starting in the living area, the 31C, like all hurricanes, offers you the dream dinette. Right across you have your sofa. And what's great about the sofa and dinette, both make into a bed. You have a great kitchen in the 31C. These are solid surface countertops, by the way. And there are covers for the sink when you need more counter space. And the 31C has this flip up extension. So the bath layout in the 31C is amazing. You're going to love this. Out here you have a sink, a medicine cabinet for all the things you need to get ready, even a place for your towel. Then over here on the other side, you have a full bath. You have this great corner shower with glass door. You have your sink, your counter, your porcelain toilet, and look at the storage below. The bedroom features a king bed, and you have nightstands with all the charging ports you need. You even have a place for your favorite books. So here's a standout feature in the 31C. I love this, a walk-in closet. You have hanging space on both sides, a number of drawers, and check this out. It's prepped for both a stackable washer and dryer or a combo unit. So here's a look at your 31C from back to front. Take one more look, and now we're in the bunkhouse, the 34J. The living area is set up with your dream dinette, and this is all about versatility. So set up the laptop and hop online. And that is really easy to do when you are on the road because every Hurricane comes with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. With this, you can create your own safe, secure, one-password hotspot using a data plan from your favorite carrier or WineGuard, and you can even use that same password when you connect to a nearby Wi-Fi signal. So take a look, it's your sofa over here on the campsite. So while someone is at the Dream Dinette posting, you can take a nap here or just drop down the overhead bunk and call it a day. The kitchen in the 34J is well equipped, like every hurricane kitchen. But here I want to point out the under-the-counter lighting. If you're traveling with kids, this makes a great night light. Speaking of traveling with kids, how about these bunks? Each has its own tablet holder, and the telescoping ladder is easy to store. No kids? Look at this. The top bunk also flips up, locks into place, and now you have this very large closet. Into the bathroom. Look at the counter space in here. And like every hurricane bathroom, you'll find a place for everything. You have a king bed in the 34J, and like every bedroom, you have the charging ports and a place for everything. And how about this? Here's your closet, a dresser, a TV. This bedroom is hard to beat. So here we go, one more look at the 34J. And it's into the 35M. Now this is gonna be your bath and a half floor plan. First, take a moment, look around. Now let's dig into the living area. This is very nice with both your dinette and sofa on the driver's side. You can sit, relax, and look out the windows at the beautiful scenery where you just set up. 
This large sofa is a comfortable place to sit and either watch TV or just relax in front of the fireplace. So let's talk TVs and entertainment because the Hurricane is equipped for family movie night. You have a Blu-ray player. You can connect your own streaming device or game console with the HDMI distribution box. It is cable ready. There's even back around the roof if you want to add a satellite dish. There's one more seating area up front you're going to find on every Hurricane, these swivel captain's chairs. Maybe you want to get a little work done or update your social media sites. Maybe just sit back, have a snack. This place does it all. So here's a look at your campsite kitchen. And we talked about all the appliances, but this time I want to point out all the storage you have above and below. Your 35M is the bath and a half model, and this half bath is very large. Now look at the cabinets back here. This is a great setup. Right across you have this large closet, but it is also prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. So here we are in the bedroom, and like all of the Hurricane floor plans, you're going to find a king bed. You have nice sized closets, dresser tops, even a TV. All right, so let's say you're in bed. It's the middle of the night, you're freezing, you want to turn up the heat. Grab your phone off the nightstand and fire up Rapid Camp Plus. So this app enabled system allows you to control your climate, but a lot more than that. You can control your lights, put out your slides, check your tank levels, and set the auto gen start. You can even put out the patio awning. Our last stop is this master bath and you are going to appreciate all the space. Look at all the space you have on the counter, right down below for storage for tiles and all those extras. And over here, your shower with glass door and skylight. Here's your last look at the 35M. And our final stop on the Hurricane Tour is the 34R. In here, you get all three seating options. You have your sofa, the dream dinette, and on the campsite, your theater seats. The kitchen in the 34R is campsite, and with the sink covers in place, you have all kinds of room for cookbooks and cutting boards. Midship is the bathroom, and it's the space and privacy you need when you are on the road. You have a nice large counter, even places down below for all the extra things you need. The closet in here is also prepped if you would like to add a stackable washer and dryer. Last stop on the 34R is in the bedroom, and like every floor plan in the lineup, you're treated to a very large, very comfortable king bed. Right across you have all the storage and space you could want on a trip. You even have a TV. Take one last look, and that wraps up our tour of the Hurricane floor plans. It's a great place to live and play inside and outside, but before we show you around the outside, we got to get to camp. So I'm going to spin this seat around, and we're going to get this Hurricane out for an RV road test. I don't know about you, but I am ready to hit the highway in this hurricane. But before we do, I want to walk you through the features and functions of the dashboard. We'll start right over here. Nice, a big old cup of go juice in the cup holder here. You do have heated remote mirrors. Controls are here. Mirror heat is here. And remember, on the mirrors, whatever is in the integrated camera on your left side or your right, when you turn on the directional, that image will show up right here in the screen for you. We'll talk about that and show you when we get out on the highway. You do have the controls for your one-touch leveling jacks. You do have a nice place to store and charge your phone. You have USB ports right here. Down below, a button for your fog lights. This is your emergency start, and you have auto headlights. The buttons on the left and right control the brightness of your dash. And while we are talking about your dash, let's dive in. A lot of features and functions here, all right? Walking you through your instrumentation, your speedometer, your tachometer, your tripometer, your oil pressure gauge, coolant temperature, your fuel gauge, transmission temperature gauge. You even have your indicator lights up here as well. A lot of good information in this message center in the digital dash. You control it with the thumb controls on the steering wheel right here, up, down, right, left, and okay. So let's go through your menus here. You do have your engine hour meter, your outside air temp, your distance to empty, two trip meters on this. How many miles per gallon are you getting? How much oil life is left? You have a voltmeter, everything you need to keep an eye on your Hurricane right here in front of you. Moving over, we have a few buttons to talk about right here. Button for your sunshade, your cabin lights, your generator start, your driver fan, and your passenger fan. I want to talk about your 10.1 inch touchscreen because this has a lot of bells and whistles for you. As you go back to your home screen, notice how this is a touchscreen. You can swipe through the menus. You have your radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Now this does not have RV specific navigation, but because you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you can download your favorite RV specific navigation app. And then once you connect your phone, all the controls are right there at your fingertips. 
can go back home at any point and swipe to the next screen. You do have your backup camera, so whatever you have on that 8,000 pound hitch is gonna show up right here. You do have hard buttons too, so you can just press those to go back home at any time, or you can use the steering controls right here on your right thumb. You have your volume, you can skip tracks, you have your source, you can scroll through there, you can pull up your camera that way as well. That way you never have to take your eyes off the road. As we go back to our home screen here, we do have Bluetooth phone, we have Bluetooth audio, you do have some equalizer settings and the settings page where you can adjust your date, your time, you can adjust this wallpaper, the screen color, so a lot of adjustments there on your settings page. Hard buttons right down below, you have a home button, you have a USB port, you have volume and power, you can go through your mode, so a lot of controls there as well. HVAC is right below, you have a 12 volt port, your hazard lights, traction control, we'll talk a little bit about that once we get on the highway, and this is where you plug in your Android Auto. So I'm gonna plug in my phone, set the GPS for camp, and we are gonna get this hurricane out on the road. One of the nice things about exploring new places is you can always take the scenic route, see new things, and no matter where you decide to go, know this hurricane is going to get you there. This is built on a Ford F53 chassis. Underneath, we have the Moride True Flat Floor Foundation. You're gonna get more storage, a stronger house, and a better ride. Powering this hurricane is Ford 7.3 liter Godzilla engine. So when you need to put the hammer down, you can at any time. You know that 350 horsepower, 468 pound feet of torque are there for you when you need it. All that power is sent to the wheels and a tweaked out torque shift six speed transmission. Now this transmission is designed for heavy duty applications like in this hurricane. You have a heavy duty torque converter. You have a large capacity pump and that's gonna give you better cooling. You also have a tow haul mode on this hurricane simply activated by pressing the button on the end of your gear shift selector. This is going to take and maximize the way your transmission shifts. It's gonna keep it from running too hot by changing the shift patterns for you. If you would like to take and shift your transmission manually, you can do that when you're selecting your gear. Just put this down to M, and then you have a plus or minus button. Now you are in control of the way your hurricane shifts. One of the things that contributes to the nice ride on this F53 is everything about it is heavy duty. From the steering to the suspension parts, you have large anti-roll sway bars in the front and the rear of the chassis. The suspension in this Hurricane is tuned as well. You have better spring rate, you have better shock tuning. Everything about it is going to deliver less body roll and more stability for you when you are out there on the road. The Hurricane also has some nice safety features built in for you as well. We'll start with Hill Start Assist. This is a great feature, especially when you are towing. Simply put, what this is gonna do, it's gonna keep you from rolling backwards. It keeps the brake pressure applied for two seconds as you move your foot from the brake pedal over to the gas pedal. You also have electronic stability control on this. Remember we showed you the button on the dash, that is how you turn it on or off. What this is going to do is use sensors from your steering and your acceleration. It actually detects when you are about to slide, the hurricane is gonna step in, it's going to apply the brakes for you, and it's going to keep you from slipping and sliding down that stretch of road. I always enjoy taking the scenic route, especially when it leads to camp. So what do you say we pull in and walk around the outside of this hurricane? All right, we are here. And if you're wondering why the drive in that hurricane was so smooth, on top of everything else we talked about, that's because the Max Pack is now standard on the 31C, 34J, 34R, and 35M. This gives you 22 and a half inch tires, a bigger chassis, and more storage capacity. All right, so I wanna brag on this storage for just a second. I mean, look at the size of these bays. Yes, you can even bring along your clubs. You're gonna like this. The Hurricane has a 12-year structural, six-year lamination, and one-year limited warranty. That's an industry best. Now that you're all ready for some outdoor living, I wanna point out the 29M and 34J do have an exterior kitchen. You're gonna get a 1,000 watt inverter on the 29M and an 1,800 watt inverter on all the other floor plans. 100 watts of solar charging is optional across the Hurricane lineup. All right, so let's set up camp here. You have a one-touch power patio awning. Built into that awning are sensors, so on a breezy day like today, when a gust kicks up, that awning will automatically retract, preventing damage to your awning or your hurricane. A few more features to point out, you have a TV out here, so go ahead, turn on the game while you hook the grill up to the exterior propane connection. So go ahead and take the scenic route, because this is the stuff memories are made of. 
This is the 2022 Hurricane. For all the features, specs, and to find the Hurricane floor plan made to fit you, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.